Hey y'all. Hey y'all, it's your girl Stephanie's Wrestling Club Podcast right here on YouTube. Go ahead and thumbs up the video. Subscribe. Hit me in the comments. Disclaimer. My son's in the back enjoying his um, imagination. So if you hear explosions and growling, that's him. Try not to pay attention to that. What are we going to be talking about? Um, Tony Khan, AEW, and according to him, the distractors are talking bad about him and he just does not have time for that anymore. So AEW, let's dive into a little bit of lore. Started in 2019 with the likes of Cody Rhodes, Jay Cargill, Sonny Kiss, um, shit, all of the people, the Young Bucks, MJF, his dad gave him the money, who is the head of the Jacksonville Jaguars and the own, uh, and the Full Men Football Club, Shahid Khan. Uh, they started out with the vice presidents as Kenny Omega was also on the board. Chris Jericho was the first winner, and that Riho was the second winner for the women. And then you had Brick Baker. Like, you had the, all that. And it was going to be like this big giant home of diversity. And this is the place where you can be yourself and you can do what you want. And we're open to everyone. Everybody can be them. And doop, doop, doop. Sunny Kiss is gone. Haven't seen fucking Nyla Rose and I don't know how long. Jay Cargill has left the building. Cody Rhodes have left the building. The Young Bucks have gone into hiding. Kenny Omega is down indefinitely. Fucking Chris Jericho looks a hot fucking mess and he's fucking boring. Britt Baker's on Twitter riled up because she hasn't had a promo. Fucking Ruby Riot can't get Ahead if it killed her because I believe she's just not fuckable enough. And the list goes on and on. Oh, and don't forget. Apparently, Ring of Honor is somehow separate from AEW. Even though they're under the same roof. And that's why it's taking forever to get Athena. Who is right now one of the most dominant women's champions in wrestling right now. On... A WTV so she could get into the main event. I think I got everything, right? Okay, fast forward. So, Tony Khan is feeling some kind of way because people are asking him, well, what the fuck is going on? You're now the alternative to WWE. You're number two. And some people are very annoyed by the way you're booking. So, what's happening here, bruh? So, Tony Khan goes over to say... To be AEW is to be under constant attack. And then he went on to explain, excuse me. He said, and I quote, you do a great show and the next day somebody's saying something negative. You do five great shows in a row and someone says something negative. You break the ticket record for the most tickets ever sold for a wrestling show in history of the world. And someone, somebody has something to say negative. Somebody has something bad to say about it. At this point, I don't worry about it. He said the show touted by Khan was all in, emanating from Wembley Stadium. Now, Wembley has said he did not sh sell 80,000. He sells 72,265. But he's going to continue to say he, he outsold that stadium. Whatever. Khan further discussed his belief in that a majority of negative comments comes from his fans on X, which is Twitter, because of its engagement. He pointed out other sports organizations such as NFL have their following spread across more platforms and dub X an echo chamber. And I quote, the wrestling's great and everything's great. And still people are trying to tell you there's something, some problem with it. To be AEW, no matter how good you do, there will be people coming for you, gunning for you, because that's what it is. There's a reason that every single person who stepped into my position until now has gone out of business. I'm the only one left. We're addicted to, we're addicted and it's worth fighting. So, are people bothering Tony Khan? Are you guys running him down and telling him how terrible his booking is? What are you guys doing to Tony Khan? 
So some of the comments says that 90% of his distractors would go away if Tony Khan would have just kept his mouth shut the last few years. He's obsessed with WWE and his inability to be an actual leader has brought on the majority of his problems. I could agree with that. The biggest, the biggest scandal outside of the false advertising that the company is a place for everyone is CM Punk. CM Punk punked your motherfucking ass. In front of the world while eating muffins and looking a hot fucking mess. And then this motherfucker went to WWE and made you look even worse in the eyes of the internet wrestling community. And it, yes, I think Tony Khan watches these small internet podcasters where they complain. In my opinion, Tony Khan fucked up the day he got out there and he let his audience book his fucking shows. I remember um, uh, Triple H said the audience does not know what the fuck they want. And at that time, I was like, he don't know what the fuck he's talking about. And every time I watch wrestling and I listen to people complain about what wrestling is doing, I think I'm on board with Triple H. The wrestling community don't know what the fuck they want. One minute they get, they get tired and they want a heel. Next minute they want a face. Next minute they want their fave to go. It's not that they are happy for the whole promotion. They just want their favorite wrestler to be where they think that wrestler should be. Thus shitting on the entire promotion. There's people, for example, who enjoy Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa in the group DYI. I don't. And if DYI is getting jobbed out, they will shit on the entire promotion and say, you're not using these guys the way they need to be used. I want Carmelo Hayes. Melo don't miss. He needs to be put on, put a rocket pack on him and shot to the fucking moon. Now, if somehow Carmelo Hayes fucking goes into a haze and gets swept up in the jobber fucking catering section... I am going to be upset with WWE and the booker because why are you doing that to this young man who is the future of your company? Never mind that he's not six fucking six, 350 pounds of muscle. Those guys are going out. The new wrestlers are six feet and under. What the fuck do you want us to do? That is what is being introduced to the lexicon of wrestling. The thing someone said that is grating about this narrative Tony is putting out there is that it absolves him of any accountability for his own attacks. Tony, you welcomed this. You started this. Now you can feel the pressure. Suddenly you're a victim. Now that you're in the weeds too much. Nah, brother. That's not how it works. If you can dish it, you can take it. I actually like that. If you can dish it, you can take it. If you can't take the heat, get out of the goddamn kitchen, Tony. Somebody also said, now nah, I'll leave that from going back into the, the comment section of this article. He's not even capable of seeing his own faults. It's really sad, but oh well, growing up spoiled and having everything easily. This guy is incompetent with an annual TV revenue of $50 million. TNA, MLW, or NWA can do better than AEW. And lastly, someone, uh, again, this is the last one. Delusional rich kid, completely detached from reality. From reality. I think Tony Khan's dad said, here, go play over there and let me take care of business. And now that Tony's on the hook and he, we watched him birth a, a wrestling company. That was fascinating. Everyone is like seeing that there isn't enough space for them. Um, he won't allow people to help him. He wants to run the entire show. I've even heard somebody say he's turning into Vince McMahon. And I'm not going to go that far. But when I watch the show, I, I, I'm left wanting more. There's nothing. I'm not satisfied. It's like you're giving me a, a, some of the, a little bit of something here, a little bit of something there. And I don't care to come back and get seconds. That is the issue. Even WWE under Triple H has picked up the storytelling. He's leaving cliffhangers. You know how long it's been since we had a cliffhanger? I want to come back and see what's going on. 
Something has to happen with the women's division. I am a woman. I want to see women wrestle and see women thrive. You only put them bitches on at eight between 8.45 and 9.30. And I, I don't want to sit there for that. Because half the time, all you're doing is putting people out there to wrestle. And I don't even know what the fuck is going on half the time. And the one draw that you did have for women, specifically black women, if you're even trying to get our attention, was Jay Cargill. And that bitch is over there on WWE. So what now? Tony doesn't seem to be taking accountability for his behavior. He too charged up. He act like he on fucking coke. You hugging your um your 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 employees. You don't know what the fuck to do. You scared to tell people you in charge, and it's probably biting you in the ass because for so long we've seen how a wrestling company is being run. Is WWE being run the way it's supposed to be? We don't fucking know, but we watched Vince McMahon run it for fucking forty years, so we assume this is how you run a wrestling company, not the way you've been running it. And people are in your ass. People been on Vince McMahon's ass every chance they got. You got to deal with it. Shit. When um, TNA, when WCW was out there, they was on Ted Turner ass. They was on his ass. So he said, fuck this. TNA. Now back to Impact. They on this dude's ass too. You need to take the time, step back, get you some writers, get you some help. And get the job done. It's okay to pull from people who've done it before. So I don't know if I agree with Tony talking about his distractors. You stepped into this arena and allowed your audience to tell you how to run a wrestling business. Now that they feel like they they are a part of this and they can tell you. Or like they would say, go into business for themselves, your audience. And if you don't do what they ask, they on your ass and you can't handle it. This is your fault, Tony. This is nobody else's fault. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments about what Tony got to say about people telling him that he sucks. And tell me what you got to think. Hit me in the comments later.